What's up everybody, Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have an Apex Legends video for you and we got some big news that we're gonna cover in this video. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're over here. We got some big news. We got two big things to talk about is the season eight map changes and then announcing the ranked season eight. Now we're gonna cover ranked first because this is probably the biggest changes that is gonna just shock the Apex competitive scene. Now it's gonna be good for two reasons, but we're gonna go through this, okay? So we're gonna get all the details for ranked going into season eight okay so as of 121 which is what about a week ago these are the following split two that have played more than five hours again you got predators diamonds and masters in the top two percent okay now for someone like me i've finished master or predator every season i finished diamond one season because i just didn't play okay so the majority of players are hard stuck in gold and platinum, okay? The majority of players, all right? They're going to be in gold and platinum, which is still a really good percentage, but gold is by far like the medium where ma the majority of players are at at 36.25%, okay? So in Season 7, we saw higher player counts more than any time, so we had more players playing ranked, which is a good thing, and I think this is because, you know, we weren't on King's Canyon, we were on Olympus first and then into World's Edge, which... You know, maybe next season we'll see how it goes with Olympus, if that's going to be in the rotation. But I think World's Edge is still the best ranked map to play on today, okay? Well, we're going to see how that goes, though. But we're seeing ranked matches taking between 30 and 40% of all games played, depending on the time of day, which is crazy. So almost half the games, or yeah, yeah, like probably a third of the games on average <clears throat> are all ranked, not pubs, which is crazy. Okay, so here we go into the changes. Now, we're going to break this down. This is going to be nuts, guys. So, a uh, consistent and ongoing goal for rank, or Apex ranked team is to ensure competitive integrity through skill-based matchmaking. Well, skill-based matchmaking is a whole other animal. I have some theories about it that have been kind of out there in the community about how, you know, you get if you're solo queuing, you're going to get matched with players, and it's designed for you to have crappier players to to lose matches etc those is what's kind of out in the community i don't know i play ranked with my team so it's kind of tough to say but here are their goals for season eight okay they want to create a healthier top end in diamond plus diamond master and predators are reserved for the best of the best we don't want to change that but we do want these players competing against more players of similar skill more often in previous seasons the player pool in diamond plus was too small to consistently provide fair matches so we aim to improve this providing more opportunities for good players to earn rp okay so improve match quality for ranked matches this means we're aiming to fill the most if not all players in your ranked match with the same ranked tier let me say that again they're going to want to fill the ranked match with the players in the same ranked tier this may cost longer longer queue times, but more competitive fair matches. We think this is worth it, and we'll monitor queue times around these changes. So here's the here's the thing with this. What this means is is that when you go into a rank match, if you're hard stuck diamond, right, or diamond three, essentially you can't get past the diamond three wall up to masters. When you make it to diamond, you're gonna play against only diamonds. Now that does mean diamond four to diamond one. But you will be playing against strictly diamonds. And the same thing across anything. Predators will play Predators. Masters will play Masters. Or maybe what they'll do is they'll take Masters and Predators and stick them together. But from what this says, it's the same tier. So Masters would play Masters. Predators would play Predators. I think Respawn would keep Masters and Predators in the same lobby. Um, just because, you know, you got 500 Predators, right? And then, you know, you can't play the same 500 players all the time you know with your q matches would be forever so i think masters and predators will stay the same they'll be in the same category diamonds versus diamonds gold versus golds all the way down okay now here's the thing with that before we go on to the the placement rp okay so here's the thing with that i do like that in the sense of playing against more players that are your skill level because here's the thing when you hit diamond four you're playing against basically diamond four platinum and gold lobbies okay as soon as you hit diamond three you're playing against diamond three two one masters and pred lobbies okay the majority of time you're gonna be playing against mostly preds and masters because there's not too many diamond players there's just not now is that skill gap that big in the diamond three to predator like is a diamond three player that much worse than a pred player i don't know it kind of depends right um I mean, it could be, but if the goal is to have players play against similar skill level based on your rank, then I do like that. The downside to this is, is I know that this is a community problem 
And there's been so many players that have been complaining about being hard stuck in platinum, hard stuck in diamond, diamond, the diamond three wall, or they can never get to masters. Now, this, in a sense, kind of makes it easier to attain masters or predators. Now, which it's kind of counterintuitive to respawn because they want the high tier players to remain the high tier and the best of the best. Well, on one side, that's true. But on the other side, if you're pairing diamond players with diamond players, right, and you have this okay diamond player, but because he's teaming with other diamond players and he gets to masters, is he truly a master? You know, is he really a high skilled player? Because the majority of players with this new system are probably going to get to masters and then just stop playing. Right, because if Masters and Preds are together, they're going to be playing against these high-level Pred players, and they're just going to stop playing rank because it's going to be the same thing as it is now. They'll be hard stuck Diamond Three like they are now, and then they're going to not want to play because oh, we're playing against three stack Preds and we can't win. You know, so one side I think this is good, but on the other side, it's like a two two edge you know two edge sword. Like it makes it easier for those players that want to rank up in a way because you can get to Diamond Four and play against Platinums and Golds. And that's not that bad. And then who, as soon as you hit Diamond 3, yeah, you're playing against the best of the best in the platforms. Like, it's supposed to be hard. But So I'm kind of on both sides about this. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. I think they're going to change it based on how long the queue times will be. If the queue times are forever, then they'll probably revert it back. But we'll see. All right, now let's go down to uh, the details in the RP system designed to support this goal. Okay, so earn placement RP earlier in the match. RP rewards begin at placement 13 instead of 10 in a match. The kill assist account has been raised to 6. Earn more RP for your kills and assists. This is a slight nudge to give really good players a slightly faster trip back to the competitive ranked. While giving our top tier players more ways to pull ahead of the pack and predator ranks. Assist threshold is increased to 10 seconds from 7.5. Okay, that's interesting. And then predator has been increased to the top 750 players. Matchmaking tightening. Players below diamond will match make more, much more often within their own ranks. Right, because the majority of players are already in those tiers, right? So, all right. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I don't, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about uh, the, the the RP and then these, these improved match rank matches. Let me know down in the comments below. This is a big topic. So... So re rewards begin at 13 instead of 10. So if you guys remember, as soon as you hit 10th place, you get plus 10 points. And then it, it trickles down to 8th, 6th, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? Uh, so if they're going to go from 13 and then down to 10, right? Because I imagine it's going to be 13 to 11 because it's 10 to 8, right? So maybe another 10 points. Uh, that's not too bad. The only thing that this is going to... I mean, it, it is good. So then if you don't place too high, you're still going to get some points. So if you do take negative RP, it's not as bad. This may be okay. The kill system account has been raised to six. This is great. The reason this is great is because players who slay out or teams that slay out Often, and you guys have seen me do it in my videos or live on stream, when you hit your max KP of five, the you know kills and assists combined to five, there's really no need to fight anymore unless you absolutely have to or you have a great third-party opportunity. But if you're early game and you already have five, <clears throat> all you pretty much do is just go set up and just wait for end game. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> what this does is it just causes teams to just be camping and not camping, but... You're just going to be sitting, so you're going to have a big, huge gap of time in a match, especially during the mid-game where you're sitting doing nothing. So this I like. <clears throat> Excuse me. This I like to six. So it's 10 more points that you could get. 10 more points that you could get, you know, towards that goal. Because, let's see, Predator is, Predator is what, minus 60? Predators and Masters is minus 60. So if you get all six kills then you break even and then placements points will give you points to go ahead and then it starts at 13 so this is actually this might work out better this might be really nice the assist threshold of 10 seconds is great i love this this should be here it already showed a big improvement going from 7.5 from like five seconds i think it was so and that was already good but this is really good 
So I love the assist threshold. I like the kill assist being raised to six. I like that. Now the, the placement points for earlier in a match, I don't know if I like that at, at 13. If it's 13 to 11 and that's plus 10 and then it's 10 to eight, that's another 10. If you make it to 10th place, that's already plus 20, right? That's already plus 20 points. So if you're in diamond at negative 48, you're already at minus 28 when you hit 10th place. Which ain't too... This may work out, guys. This may actually... I might be overthinking it. This might This might work out. Okay. And then this Predator has been increased to top 750 players. Now, this I don't know if I like. Now, if, if it's going to be the 750 Predators playing against just Predators and not Masters, this may be okay. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Allowing more players to enter Predator should improve uh, queue times while remaining exclusive, an exclusive tier for the highest levels of play. I don't know, man. I don't know if I like that. I think the top 500 was just fine. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that. Matchmaking tightening. Players below diamond will matchmake more often. Okay, now let's look at the skydive trails. Okay, we'll be making a return for as a rank reward. Uh, we always wanted to reward competitive players for the time you invest and hope to accelerate earnable RP uh, to motivate to push to the next tier. So you do have skydiving trails. Um, so it looks like they're bringing skydiving trails back to diamond. So instead of just masters and preds, it's going to go to diamond. Um, honestly, the skydiving trails were cool. I just don't think they were that much of a incentive to grind out ranked. I think more of a a better reward like skins along with the dive trail right like you get a badge and a weapon cosmetic and then the season long dive trail but if it's just season long and you don't get to keep it it's not that big of an incentive i think the reward should be better if you're going to grind out these ranks right so i think it should be better uh rank maps and split dates so king's canyon is back so we're going to get king's canyon first and then back to olympus so we won't have world's edge love it love it Season 7 rewards, guys. Here's the Season 7 rewards. So here's the badges and the trails. So here's the trails. They look sweet. The badges are amazing. I love these. That's great. So th those are cool. These are all awesome. I like those. Uh, we'll keep an eye on adjustments through the rank process. So guys, this, these changes, I think, overall are going to be a real interesting take going into next season. We got a couple days until uh, the season drops. So... These are going to be real interesting. I think th these things, especially with players playing the same rank, is going to incentivize players, more players to play ranked. Um, I just hope it doesn't make it easier, right? Because if you're a high-level player, then you're not going to... I think it'll be easier if you're a high-level player. If you're a mid-tier player that is you know stuck in platinum or stuck in diamond four going back to diamond three diamond four diamond three diamond four i think it's going to be a little bit easier for you i think this is geared more towards those mid-tier players the high tier level players aren't going to change that's not going to change for them that's not going to change for them at all none of this is going to change for high level players that have made it to diamond three and higher every season it's just not um It'll make those players that have been stuck in Diamond 3 to Diamond 1 to Masters. It'll get them to Masters easier. But overall, I think these changes are going to be very interesting, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these uh, rank changes coming to uh, Season 8 of Apex Legends. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Hit it. Hit the like button. It does help me out with the algorithm, guys, so much. I appreciate the support. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Apex news and tips videos. For me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.